Please. What is your nationality? About you, brother. What's your nationality, brother? Israelite, man. Israelite, right? From what tribe? Judah. Tribe of Judah. You got the Judah shirt on, right, bro? Yeah. What about y'all, brothers? What's your nationality, young bro? Take the mask off for a second and talk to me. You don't know your nationality, right? What about you? You don't know your nationality. Sisters, what's your nationality? The Israelites. The Israelites according to the Bible, right? Oh, yeah. And what the brother was bringing out is heavy. Because what he said is you're required as Israelites to do something. Get that script again. Let's get right back to where he was at. Ecclesiastes. Because we're required knowing that. We, matter of fact, let me ask you a question. How do we know that we Israel? How do you know that we Israelites, brother? Because things was written, right? Give me Isaiah 34 and 16 real quick. Isaiah 34, 16. My bad. Because of the curses, right? The Most High God has given us a commandment. He told his people to do one thing, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Read out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The Most High God said to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right. Our people have been turned against the Bible, though. Right. Yeah. Our people claim that the Bible was taught to us by some slave masters and it was used to oppress us. Right. Read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And the Bible says to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read that thing, so-called black man, right. so-called Hispanic man, right. so-called Native American man right. and woman. Right. The Bible says to read that thing because when this thing was being given to us by our oppressors, we were not allowed to read. Right. Right. It was unlawful for us to read. Right. We were put to death if we tried to read. Right. Because us reading led to our insurrection against them. Right. Right. That's what we must understand. That's why our master did not want us to hear that thing. What's right. in this Bible? Don't read it again. Seek it out of the book of the Lord and read. Why should we read out the Bible? Read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these prophecies written in this Bible shall fail. That's how we know that we are the Israelites. That's how Nick Cannon knows he's an Israelite. That's how Deshaun Jackson, Ice Cube, all those different entertainers know that they're Israelites based off of these prophecies that are written. It says no one of these shall fail. Read on. None shall want her man. There's no book in, on the planet Earth that has prophecies showing your beginning, your past, your present and your future. Right. Yeah. No other yeah. books tell the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans how they got here, where they're from, and where they're going to go if they repent. Right. Right. That's right. Read again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So our people are commanded to seek out of the Bible and read. No one of these shall fail. None of these prophecies are going to fail out the Bible. So how do we know we're Israelites? Let's get some prophecies now. Let's see if these things have failed, and let's see if these things can identify who these people are. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. What you got, brother? Come on, come on. This is why we're here to clear these things up. What's your question? John 3:16. Said elaborate on John 3:16. Yeah, that took a lot of people up. It took me up. John 3:16. That's a damn good question. Hey, sisters, y'all know what John 3:16 says? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Go ahead. That whosoever shall believe on him shall have everlasting life, right? Perish, have everlasting life. And so what does that mean? Does that mean that God came for everybody on the earth? For those who believe. So the so-called white men that believe, God came for them. You say, guess so, right? What about you, bro? That's why the brother asked that question. That's a heavy question. Let's get John 3.16 then. Let's get John 3.16 and show the miseducation of our people and bring our people back to who God really loves. Read that thing. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Go ahead. For God so loved the world Go ahead. that he gave his only begotten son. He said he gave his only begotten son. Read. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but uh -huh. have everlasting life. So our people take that as God loves everybody. So the same person that put yokes of iron on our neck, beat our backs, raped our mothers, right. raped our sisters, right. put us in chains, right. give us the worst education, right. miseducated us, right. teaches us that we're not Israel, right. they get to come into the kingdom of heaven too with us. Right. God is for them. That's what we learned from John 3.16, right? Read it again. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Go ahead. Oh. For God so loved the world. So what is that world then? He said, God so loved the world.
Give me Isaiah 45. Bring it up. What is the most high God talk? Matter of fact, who wrote the Bible? Who is the Bible speaking to? The Bible is only an Israelite book for right. the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Right. Right. So let's read this now. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. See, yeah. God so loved the world. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Go ahead. Shall be saved in the Lord. The Bible says the children of Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Right. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. That's a specific people. Read. With an everlasting salvation. He said, with an everlasting salvation. Read. He shall not be ashamed, nor confounded. He said, the Israelites shall not be ashamed, nor confounded. So understand something. Why in the world are our brothers coming out saying that they Israel, saying that they the true Jews, and they got to apologize being ashamed for who they are? Hey, no. Why they got to apologize for that? Right. If there wasn't some type of truth behind the wickedness in these bastards that want us to keep stay asleep. Read it again from the top. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. It says the children of Israel is going to be saved in the Lord. Read. With an everlasting salvation. Go ahead. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. You will never be ashamed nor confounded to know and understand that you Israel and that God is only for you. Read it. Read. Hey. World. What? World. What? World. What? World. Without end. So who's that world that is talking about now? Yeah. What's that world? Sister. These sisters ain't even paying. Sis, come here real quick. What world is he talking about then? Says God so loved the world. Read it again from the top for the sister. What's your name, sis? Huh? Dorothy. I want you to pay attention to this. Because God so loved the world, right? Right. That he gave his, his only begotten son. And whosoever shall believe on him shall have everlasting life. Right? Read the precept now. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. No. But Israel. It says, but Israel shall be saved. Go ahead. Shall be saved in the Lord. Go ahead. With an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Read. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. You'll never be ashamed nor confounded by confessing and understanding that you are the Israelites. Read. World. Stop. What did he just say? No, read it again. Say world. 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 What world is that? Read it again from the top. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. It says Israel is going to be saved in the Lord. Read. With an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Read. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. Israel is not going to be ashamed nor confounded. What? World. What? World. What? World. Without end. So who is that world that the Most High God is talking to? Through the spirit of Jesus Christ in John 3, 16. Who is that world? Is that the all the nations? He said Israel's that world, right? Go back to John 3, 16. Now we're going to deal with all of it because the brother had a great question and our people need to know that. Because it's too long, for too long our people have hated ourselves and feel sorry for loving ourselves. Our people feel bad to love your own people. Right. It's bad because the so-called white man is not included in our salvation. Right. Are we included in this? No. Are we included in this? No. So when we get beat down in all these things, do they include us with their with their world? Read it again. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Go ahead. No. For God so loved the world. So God so loved the world of Israel. Read. That he gave his only begotten son. He said he gave his only begotten son. Who did Christ come for? Who did Jesus Christ say he came for? Get that in Matthew 15. Who did Jesus Christ say he came for? Sis, who did Christ come for? He come for the Israelites, right? Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Let's go. But he answered and said, Keep in mind, this is the New Testament here. That they're teaching to love yourself, love your people, and that God is only for you. This is the New Testament. Read. But he answered and said, go ahead. I am not sent. Who sent Jesus Christ? He said, I am not sent. He said, but God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He sent his only begotten son. Right. Who did he send them to? Read. I am not sent. He said, I am not sent. My father did not send me but to who? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus yes, Christ was right. only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, the, right. the same people that walk around calling themselves African Americans, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Cubu Cubans, Dominicans, you're lost. Dominican means dog of the Lord. Right. Why the hell would you want to be associated with that? Bring it up. 
an African American is named after two so-called white men. Right. And two continents. How can you yeah. be named after that? Yeah. I am not sent for who really again? Verse 24. But he answered and said. Jesus Christ answered and said what? I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus Christ said he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, so that, that right there kills all the nonsense about you shouldn't even be in church with these bastards. Right. Because they hate your guts. Right. They hate you. Right. Go back to John 3, 16. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Go ahead. Now, for God so loved the world. So he said, God loved the world of Israel. Read. That he gave his only begotten son. He only gave his son to the Israelites. Right. That's in the Bible. Right. Yes. Read. That whosoever. That whosoever. Read. Believeth in him shall not perish, uh -huh. but have everlasting life. Okay, so then he may say, well, you see, now that says whosoever. Who's anybody's whosoever, right? Right. Anybody's whosoever. Read that in Acts. And then I want you to get Joel chapter 2. The book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. Go ahead. You know, and it shall come to pass Go ahead. that whosoever shall, shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So it says, it shall come to pass that whosoever, anybody on the planet earth, that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let's get the context of that thing. Read it again from the top and read it all the way through. Verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Go ahead. Ye men of Israel. Who? Ye men of Israel. Who is Peter's audience at this time? Ye men of Israel. It's the Israelites. Yes, it's right. the men of Israel. Do what? Hear these words. Just hear these words. Right. So get you up 2 and 27. Now where did Peter get this from? Bring it out. Where did this come from? Because they tried to keep us away from the Old Testament. There was nothing else being taught by the disciples. But Christ, but anyone else on this planet but the Old Testament. That's right. Joel 2 and 27. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. We're deal with whosoever, though. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Most like God says he's in the midst of Israel. That's been beat to death already. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. He's the God of Israel. Read. And none else. And nobody else is Read God. The most high God is nobody else's God. Right. So God so loved the world, he loved the world of Israel, his own people. Let's jump down to like the last two verses. Verse Joel chapter 2 and verse 32. It's the same yeah. thing. Now we read Joel 2 and 27. Now we're reading Joel 2 and 32. Read 27 again to get back to what we're talking about. Verse 27. Go ahead. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Hey, sis, can I ask you a question? Real quick, sisters, if you have a couple seconds. Who is the most high God for? Who is God's people? It's for everybody? Everybody. It's for everybody. You have one second for us to show you something in the Bible. Just one second. And you get that from John 3, 16, right? So can you explain this real quick? Joel 2 and 27, read. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. What's your name, sis? Dan, and? Dan. Dan, I apologize. Go ahead. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The Most High God said he's in the midst of Israel, read. And that I am the Lord your God. He says, I am the Lord your God. Read. And none else. He's nobody else's God. Read. Right, right. That's what the Bible says, right? Now jump to verse 32. Because we're dealing with John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall call on his name shall have everlasting life. Right? Where did Peter get that from? He got that from Joel. Right. right. Read Joel chapter Read that now, verse 32. Verse 32. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that whosoever. He said, and it shall come to pass that whosoever. Read. Shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Is that the same exact thing in Acts that we read about uh, whosoever, right? Three. But what did he say back up in the verse and go to 27 again? Verse 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Go ahead. And that I am the Lord, your, your God, God read. and none else. He's nobody else's God. Read on. And my people should never be ashamed. He says his people. God's chosen people. He has a chosen people. Right, right. Now go back to 32 and finish it off. Jeez. Verse 32. Yeah. And it shall come to pass go ahead. that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Go ahead. Read on. For in Mount Zion. For in Mount Zion amongst my people. Read. And in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem. It didn't say in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right. It didn't say in France or Italy and Spain and all those different places. Right. He says in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem. Read. Shall be deliverance. Shall be deliverance. Shall be salvation to God's chosen people, the so-called black 
Hispanic and Native American. Yes, yes, right. The Bible is our book. Right. It's time that we come out of the lies that we've been taught in Christianity. Right. And come back to who we are. Because we know who we are based on what's written. Now go to Deuteronomy 28. Y'all sisters understand that? So who's, who is salvation for? The Israelites. the Israelites. How does God feel about the other nations? How does God feel about the so-called white man, Chinese man, Arab man? Bring it out. Bring it out. You don't know, right? Let's show you how God... Matter of fact, let's stay on that. Give me um, Edris. Chapter 6, verse 54. Let's see how God feels about the other nations then. If somebody find Moab, there's my watch spot. Read. The book of 2nd Edris, chapter 6, and verse 54. Go ahead. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord, Go ahead. of all thy creatures, Go ahead. of him come we all. So he said all the creatures on the earth come from Adam. All the people on the earth come from Adam. Read. Right. And the people... Also, whom thou hast chosen. The most high God has chosen a certain people, though. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Go ahead. Because thou madest the world for our sake. The most high God made the whole and entire planet Earth for the Israelites' sake. It's right. our planet. Jeez. You understand? You got a question. What you got? Yes. So who is Jesus? Who is Jesus Christ? Yeah. Let's come on, come over here, sis. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because that's a that's a great question, right? Yeah. Who is Jesus Christ? Give me Luke chapter 1. Give me Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Who is Jesus Christ and what's his purpose, right? Right. Okay. And then give me, um, it's evident that our Lord sprang out of you. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Read. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He has visited and redeemed his people. Jesus Christ is our redeemer. What? Read on. Jeez. And has raised up a horn of salvation. Says he raised up a horn of salvation. He raised up a leader for us. He right. raised up a leader. He raised up a, a sign of power for his people. Read. For us in the house of his servant David. Because he comes from the lineage of King David. Right. He comes from the tribe of Judah. So who is Jesus Christ? Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, Go ahead. which have been since the world began, Read. that we shall be saved. The purpose of Jesus Christ is to do what? That we should be what? That we shall be saved. That we should be saved from who? From our enemies. From That's our right. enemies and who else? And from the head of all that hate us. That's who That's Jesus right. Christ is. That's because right. our people, now get Leviticus 26. Thank you. That's who Jesus Christ is. He's the redeemer of the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. We are the ones that are being that living amongst our enemies. Right. We are the ones, and that's a curse from God. Right. It's a curse from God that they that hate us reign over us. Leviticus 20, 26 and um, 17. Stop. The book of Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. Bring it out. And I will set my face against you. Uh-huh. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. Are people not being killed, raped, robbed, and murdered before the same people that the most high God calls our enemies that brought us over here on slave ships? Right. Bring it out. Without that, our people not being slain before our enemies read. They that hate you. They that hate you shall do what? Shall reign over you. Shall reign over us read. And ye shall flee when none pursue. And now we just running scared. Scared Negroes scared when nobody's pursuing us. Right, right. And we flee more from the laws of the Most High God than anything. So who is Jesus Christ? Give Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Bring it out. Teach. We already showed Jesus Christ was a so-called black man. Right, because he's an Israelite according to the Bible from the tribe of Judah to redeem his people. That's, That's who right. Jesus Christ is. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. Go ahead. Bring it out. And she shall bring forth a son. That's who Jesus Christ was. She shall bring forth a son. Read. Bring and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. How you doing, brother? The sister asks, who was Jesus Christ? Let me ask you a question. Look at this. Look at these signs right here. Which one is Jesus Christ that we've been taught? We've been taught this, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what does Jesus Christ really look like? And what does he stand for? And who is he for? What is Jesus Christ about? Bring it out! Right. Jesus Christ is way more easily. He damn sure ain't about nothing that this man has taught us. Taught us how to hate ourselves. Right. Hate our brother, our sisters, hate their husbands. Right. Hate themselves. Hate their hair. Hate their skin. Right. Hate their children. That's what this man taught. Bring it because out! We see this image as beauty. Right. We see that image as God. So Jeez. we don't see God in each other. That's right. Get John 7 and 38. Bring it out. Bring it out. Get John 7 and 38. Because this is what our people have to come back to. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and start reading. 
Letter. That's right. We have online classes three times a day, seven days a week. Teach. We're not teaching no lies of hypocrisy. This is right out the Bible. Read. Right. Book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Go ahead. He that believeth on me. It says, he that believeth on Jesus Christ. How? As the scripture has said. As it is written in the Bible. Right. Christ said, I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. The Bible says Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. Right. He had skin burnt like brass burnt in a furnace. That's right. Read again. He that believeth on me. He says, whoever believes on Christ, read. As the scripture As the said, Bible says, not how the so-called white man gave it to you. Right. Not how our slave masters and oppressors gave it to us. Right. Read again from the top. Verse 38. He that believeth on me. Go ahead. As the scripture has said. It says, as no. the scripture has said, read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly, out of his mind, out of his spirit shall flow rivers of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures here. Right. right. So that you'll then turn and change your life and live as the real Jesus Christ told us to live. Right. Because right. Jesus Christ said this. Give me that, um, if you, Matthew 19. If you love me, keep my commandments. The book of Matthew. Look. Matthew. Matthew. Book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Go ahead. Bring it out. And behold. No, no. If John you love me, 14, keep my commandments. John 14. Give me that. Book of John, chapter 14, and verse 15. Go ahead. Hey, if you love me, keep my commandments. So Jesus Christ, it says, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. Right. Jesus Christ is saying, if you love me, do what? Keep my, my commandments. This is keep his commandments. Right. So that's See. what we out here doing. Yeah. That's telling right. our women, listen, sis. I know what you've been taught by your enemy and your oppressor, that wearing pants is good for you. Right. The Bible says a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, though. Oh, the Bible says that pants is not right for sisters. Right. So Christ says if you love him, you will submit yourself to at least that, that law real quick and understand that if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Read. And I will pray the Father. Because when you keep and keeping God's commandments, that activates the angels now. Right. And that activates Jesus Christ to do what, Read. And I will pray the Father. And he prays to the Father, Read. And he shall give you yeah. another comfort. He will yeah. give us another comfort. Yeah. Right. Our people are living. Yeah. We have no comfort in our community. Jeez. Right. Our people have no comfort. Right. But Christ said, read it again. And I will pray the Father. The Christ is going to pray the Father if you love him and want to keep his commandments. Read. Right. He shall give you another comfort. He will give you another comfort. Read. That he may abide with you forever. That he may abide with us forever. Our problem is our people reject God's laws to right. the point where we say, hey, brother, stop gangbanging. Right. Got him. Stop gangbanging. Stop, 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 stop eating shrimp, crab, pork. The basic laws. And our people reject that thing, and then we wonder why our community is the way it is, while we going from job to job, living check to check, have no job, unemployment, child support, we have no comfort on this world. We can shot down by our own brothers as well as the enemy. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.